Yeah, time qualifying went uh, really good. Had the uh, A practice this weekend, which was was beneficial to me for sure. Uh, had the chance to jump in behind uh, Darren Durham and jo Justin Hill, PC guys. So uh, I just knew that was my opportunity to find good lines and try and hang with them as long as I could. Uh, jumped in behind them and actually ran with them the whole lap. So. Uh, threw down a fast enough lap time, qualified 29th, and I think that helped tremendously for sure being in the A practice this weekend uh, and, and being running up there with those guys in practice. Right now we're sitting in 25th, so hopefully that gets the job done. Yeah, I'm pumped for sure. Last time I was in A practice, I was like second to last, like 38th or something. So I think we're making progress. I've just been working hard during the week, and I've been qualifying between 33rd and 45th every weekend, so it's been a struggle, and it's so disappointing when you're on the bubble and don't make it so hopefully uh the hard work's paying off and hopefully i can hold that position you know the b practice is out there now so hopefully uh no more than 10 people beat my time otherwise we're in uh yeah i'm going over to uh pc rig where Knowles is uh guys from scott always helping me out as much as they can getting me clear vision so big thanks to them Wow. Thank you. Nose, man, always hooking it up with clear vision. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. Dude. Thank you. This is my closest to a home track, and I I know that red butt only gets rougher. So going into second practice, I was confident that the times were gonna get slower. And when I was out there, it actually like in my head, I was like, man, the track's actually faster than first practice. So that messed with me big time. And uh, when I went to throw down a lap, I tangled up with some guys and and uh, just messed up that lap and went to go hard again another lap and, and, and fell over. So uh, I pumped up, I was nervous, got arm pumped the second one, didn't know what was gonna happen, but uh, luckily enough, first practice was where I got my time out of. Feeling really good. I'm, I'm, uh, I know it's a lot of hard work and been working hard, trying to get in and been on the bubble and really proud of them and really happy that we got her done this today. The good news is, is when uh, you're on the bubble and you find out you're in, uh, we can rest now. We can just finish our bike work and sit back and uh, rest for this afternoon. My dad's awesome, you know. We, we have our ups and downs just like probably everyone does. Uh, but he, he buses and buses her in for sure to uh, keep bikes underneath me and coming home after long days of work and, and making sure everything's good. And he just tries to help me out in every way he can and that's the support. I, I like to have, and man, I love him to death. He's awesome for sure. Um, recently, since I didn't qualify the last two weekends, disappointing. And uh, you got to work on, on the, you know, there's always things to work on. I went home and worked on sprints. Uh, stayed away from 30 minute motos. So, uh, got off to an excellent start, Moto 1. And uh, I think I came around like 15th or 16th, first lap. Uh, sprinted, like I do, I've been working on, but. I hit the wall, so I know what I gotta go home and do now. I gotta start doing long motos, that's for sure. Second moto, I didn't so much get arm pump, but just not used to doing those long motos, and it was pretty humid today, so I just, cardio-wise, just kind of uh, just kind of was exhausted and gave it everything I got, though. You know, we'll build from it. it, it it's definitely a team effort, you know. We don't roll up in a semi, but uh, for privateers, I feel like me and my dad do very well. He works as hard as I do, if not harder. And uh, I couldn't do it without him, most importantly. Um, you know, all the guys from AXO and, and, and Knowles from Scott Goggles always, always helping me out. And uh, Novik Gloves, Tamer, uh, Confused Clothing, um, Factory Connection, FMF, uh, Decal Works for sure. Them guys are always making my bikes look good each weekend. Um, Free Gun's a new sponsor to me, Free Gun Underwear. And uh, they were the main sponsor here, so it was definitely cool to do it for them. And, Man, there's so many people behind the scenes that, that I can't think of right now, but I couldn't thank them enough. And you guys know who you are, so thank you so much.